Hello, love. Welcome back to another video of British Guy Watches American Reality TV. If you didn't know, that was my impression of an American doing an impression of a British guy. But anyway, hey, welcome back to another video. I'm back on these reacting things. Today we're going to be watching another American reality TV show. Could I have gone my whole life without educating myself about this show? Yes, but where's the entertainment for you in that? Let's do a little brain exercise here. When I say the word childhood, what's the first thing that comes to mind? For me, it's a little bundle of joy running around in the park, playing with his mates. No cares in the world, no guilt about anything, no responsibilities. Not whatever this is. Today, we're going to be watching clips from a show called Toddlers and Tiaras, which is all about children in beauty pageants. And I guess this kind of correlates with my Dance Mums video that I did a couple weeks ago. If you haven't watched that, you might as well go and watch it. And don't get me wrong, this is not the child's fault. It's mainly the parents doing an interesting job of parenting. I know everyone has their own views on parenting and what should be done in which way, but this is just a little. Let's run it up. Are you beautiful? Yes, I am beautiful. She doesn't sound very confident there. <laughs> and you called me up. You said I was, I was beautiful and I'm always beautiful. Who said what about that? Oh, there we go. We're 10 seconds into this video and we can already see some cons in this child. Don't get me wrong. I'm not blaming this demon child for her actions. It's mainly the parents teaching her that being beautiful or this this conventional beauty is everything, you know? That's the only thing that matters in life is to have hair that looks like a bird's nest. You said, you said, are you beautiful? And I said, I'm all, and I was almost gonna say, Mommy, she's, she's thinking I'm not beautiful. Was I wrong? And I am always beautiful. Who are these cameramen or camera people? Surely it's not legal to run around chasing a child saying, get away from me. <laughs> Only in beauty pageants, I guess. Daddy. Come here, come here. Daddy. She needs to prepare for the stage, y'all. Yeah, she's gotta be, she's gotta chill out. She's getting a little tired. She's getting a little frustrated. She's oh my <laughs> gosh. See, well, what is with this haircut? There's, I told you it correlates with dance mums. She's also got those mystical earrings on. Probably contributes to some kind of witch spell. I still don't get this haircut. I've made plenty of videos on Karens. It looks like you cut off a lion's mane and glued it onto your head. A little tired. She's getting a little frustrated. She's kind of got some little stimulation going on. I think she's very obligated to be stimulated at this point. Melissa. A grown man just chased her around a building with a camera. And that's understandable. She needs time to breathe. She has to have herself mentally prepared to go on stage. We just want one minute. Okay, can we have one minute with her? Oh, no. Can we have one minute? Thank you. Back up. Back up. You too. Please, back up. Oh, my God. Well, I guess like mother, like daughter. <laughs> this is why we need to control the breeding of Karens. <laughs> They're creating young Karens. We can't have another generation of this. Our generation is bad enough. I am going to... It's always this hand movement. It's like, I'm this close, buddy. I'm this close. What is she gonna do? She's three foot with her hair making up 80% of that. Well, we have to practice or we can't be in the practice room because when you're in the practice room, you have to practice. So do you want to practice or go outside where the babies go? Do you want to practice or go outside where the babies go? <laughs> she is a baby. This kid must not weigh more than three pillows. She's not a grown woman. Hmm? Here, take her out in the lobby and talk to her. Okay. I just don't want her to think that she can yeah. sit in here and do that. Do what? Be a child. <laughs> I don't get how they expect their child. <laughs> Keyword, child. Not even a child. She is a, she's a whole ass toddler. They expect her 
to be as mature as a grown woman. Why are you being like this? Cambry doesn't let the girls, you know, get away with stuff. Like, she holds them accountable for their actions. I'm not going to. I don't want you to yell and throw fit in here, but if we are at home, I'd be like, nope, time out. Mm -mm, yell and scream. Yeah. Because at this point, it's yeah. not helping. Yeah. You know? So I would just go put her in time out and walk away from her, and if she cries, then she cries. Don't take parental advice from these people. I'm all in for time out. You can give your kid time out. I don't mind that. You know, like the naughty step. When I was a kid, the naughty step was my second home. But even then, I got it because of, like, throwing food across the room. Or changing... <laughs> changing the tops. Oh, Changing the tops of the salt and pepper shakers. So when, <laughs> when you wanted salt on your food, but you do it and it comes out in pepper, because the shaker wasn't see-through. It is harmless fun. Th th I believe I shouldn't I shouldn't have been put on the naughty step for that one. I get they're trying to hold the kid accountable for her actions, but what were the actions? Being two years old. You're gonna need to come in here and you're gonna sit. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not no, I know you would need to time out though. I'm sorry. She's kind of in like that three-nager stage right now. Like she can get really moody. Three-nager? No. No, she's just three. <laughs> but I think when it comes down to it, like she loves to be on that stage, so. Oh yeah, she looks like she's loving it. But I Time of her life. Sorry, time out. Sorry, time out, time out, time out, time out. I love you, I'll be right back. Sorry. Listen, Pipsqueak, I love you and all, but I'm gonna lock you in this room with this grown-ass cameraman. Ooh. Cough. <laughs> and listen, I don't have a child, but I'm pretty sure, I'm like 98% sure, that slamming the door in your kid's face is not the best way of showing them that they've done something bad. Is there a clock around here? Can someone let me know in three minutes? <laughs> I, oh my god. I'm into my horror stuff, as you all know. That is terrifying. Imagine your kid reaching under the door, making that noise. <laughs> Hello, father? Yeah, you're gonna want to whip out the holy water for this one. You don't know I anything about okay, <laughs> <laughs> There are so many things going on in this still image. First of all, let's talk about this woman's shirt. I feel like I'm about to get out my bow and arrow, try and find the target. <laughs> Bullseye! I tell you what, you shouldn't wear that during a game of hide and seek. I'd also like to talk about Charlie Brown after drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I also like the satellite dish cosplay she's going for in the back there. And the cherry that tops it all off. Why is there a goat? And why are you looking at me like I'm the weird one? You, you really stare at me. You, you wanna, wanna go, bro? I'm ready to... Hopefully this scene answers some questions. Is that a rabbit? Okay. But you're about to know. No, I'll tell you one thing now. You need to back off. No, you guys need, you to, need back to back off. off. I wouldn't mess with him though. I wouldn't risk it. He might whip out some call and then all the goats come and attack you. In every situation where there's conflict, I'm this woman in the back there. Like, yo, what is yo, what is going on there? Uh, let's stop go, let's go. We're all in our forties. The fighting outside is going to solve anything, except for someone going to jail. Take the goat. Take the goat. Come on. Uh -uh. Yeah, good you idea. Ashamed. <laughs> I'm ashamed that I had to sit in a room with such ignorance. I'm trying to walk away from the situation like 10 times I walk away from this, and 10 times one of those ass comes back. I'm like, don't you old bitches have something else to do? Bye. Bye, Felicia. Oh, really? Last time I saw you were in charge of nothing, bitch. Whoa, Ron. Pipe yourself down a little. I like how with Dance Mums, what, I forgot what, what her name was, Alicia? No, the head coach, the head dance coach. She was at least being creative with the insults because there were kids about. 
She, I'm pretty sure she called the other woman a dingbat. Whereas Ron, he's really pulling them out the bag, bitch. I think when the hair on your head starts to look like a lit lollipop dropped on a carpet, that's the time to see it off. I think you should say goodbye to it, buddy. You <laughs> do not say that about people. What is wrong with you? You can say whatever he wants to say. He doesn't know what a true gentleman is. And Alessandra, honey, 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 these little ass here would like to see a Cinderella story. So can you pick up so that these butt can feel better Why about their life? No, 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 no. I'll help you. She I'll help you pick it up. My kids don't care. They'll be happy to pick up. We live on a farm, lady. Don't start and there won't be any. That's where the goat came from. They're from the farm, of course. I like how they're wrapping up all these plot holes. I'm speaking, <laughs> I'm speaking about it like it's a fiction, but no, this is just real America. Why are you so lazy? Why? You cannot go to the bathroom and get a You know what, towel. I gotta get away from this lady. <laughs> I, I don't understand. You need to bend down, if you go get a paper towel, I need to clean up the goat crap. Imagine having a cosine graph as eyebrows. <laughs> that might be one of the dumbest jokes I've ever made. Yeah. If you can't do it, then maybe have your husband wipe some sweat off his face and he can use his hands. I'm gonna mask her some ignorant person That's why you're standing where you're standing. <laughs> Behind her big butt? Because that's ridiculous. That's have you looked maybe you didn't look in the mirror, honey, but your ass isn't any smaller than mine. Bloody well, hell. But then again, her camel toe was much larger than anybody's. <laughs> <laughs> You cannot be teaching your children this language. I didn't know what a camel toe was until about three months ago, not gonna lie. Also, what is going on with her eyes? I don't know if that's just me and I'm going insane, but they look green. Now, I think we've had enough of Goatman and his sidekick. I was looking through clips of uh, this and there was one, the title really caught my eye. I like tanning so I can get brown like Beyonce. What do you mean by that? My name is Allison, but they call me Allie, and I'm four years old. Bloody hell, I just aged four years by the end of that sentence. You want to try this one? Do you remember what you got that one for? You're being so good. I'm Kylene, and my daughter Allison is a naturally beautiful pageant princess. I'm Kylene. And my daughter is naturally real a lot. And what is up with all these women having eyebrows skinny enough to look like a playing card from the side? Did you get that one for winning overall what? Most beautiful. Yeah. Everyone says Allie's kind of like a, a little modern day Shirley Temple, but she would much rather look more like uh, Beyonce. Beyonce. She's just always really liked dark skin and, and thought that it was beautiful. When Allison picks out her own toys, she won't pick out a peach doll. She will only pick out brown dolls. She's prayed before that Jesus would make her brown. This is entirely the mum's fault. I guess it it's kind of sweet that she thinks black is beautiful because it is. It's just, you know, when you start to change your own race, that's when it starts to get a little, a little iffy. But she's four. How's she gonna know that? It's the mum's fault for letting her do this. Is that too tight? Yeah. For red carpet wear, Allison is going to be wearing a dress that is similar to the one that Beyonce wore to the 2009 BET Awards. She's obsessed with wanting to be a bride and wanting to be brown, so it was the perfect dress for her. Do the, Show me how you do your Beyonce move, baby. She looks a little silly doing them, but I think it'll be cute. Show me how you do the Beyonce when she goes. There you go. She doesn't have the best rhythm. Yeah, she dances like a stiff flamingo, but it'll be fine. What does she expect from her four-year-old child? She's not gonna be as good at dancing as Michael Jackson as soon as she comes out the womb. But she's just adorable, so we're really focusing on just her, her routine being cute and fun because she's not uh, super coordinated to be able to do these crazy moves and stuff like that. There you go. She does look a little awkward, doesn't she? <laughs> Her dancing is god awful. Look at her, look at her doing her little dance. A little, little awkward, so shit. So we are at Salon Jess getting ready to get Allie a spray tan so that she'll um, be nice and dark for her pageant. Hold on, one more time. Need to get Allie a spray tan so that she'll um, be nice and dark for her pageant. 
I cannot believe she just said that unironically. There's Miss Mary. Hey, Allison. You ready to get spray tan? I like tanning so I can get brown like Beyonce. I want to be just brown. You want to be that brown? Well, let's see if we can do that for you. That tanning woman, sorry, I don't know the actual profession name, must have been paid a whole lot for her to go on with this. Unless this is like a normal experience for her, which you know it might be. It still happens, you know? Have a look at Ariana Grande from 10 years ago and Ooh. now. Can we hold that up here while we go spray tan? Yeah. She started going to these pageants and seeing the other little girls get their tans and she just started asking, please, please, can I get a spray tan, please? I want you to close your eyes and hold your breath, okay? And be real still. She said, I don't want to be peach, I want to be brown. Ooh, armpit. Okay, I think that's enough for today's video. <laughs> you know what? We're not ending it on that note. Let me just get something. Here he is. That's our guy. I'll do the outro while you guys look at him. Thank you, everyone, for watching today's video. I'll stop. I'll get him off your screen. Don't worry. So I guess what we learned today is that... Well, to be honest, I haven't really learned anything. I feel like I, I've I've lost brain cells watching these videos. <laughs> Let your child have a life before putting them into something like this involuntarily. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Back on the normal videos now that House of Ashes is done. What a game, by the way. You should go and watch those if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Press subscribe. We're almost at 10k. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs>